My name is Olorogu Theodore Ochiko Areki, and I'm here today for us to talk about some of the issues of the Midwest people. This video is to put some clarification on our position as Midwesterners or Bendelites. We are not the Oduduas and we are not the Biafrans. We are the Midwest people, the Bendelites, Edo and Delta. The video is also a clarification on our coat of arms and our flag. Now let us look at the ethnography of the coat of arms. The coat of arms is made up of a few elements. We have the leopard, we have the elephant, we have the ada and eben. The, actually the royal ada and the royal eben. We also have the sea eagle, the eagle, the sea eagle. And we have the wreath and the shield. And let us look at these items one by one. The leopard. The leopard is native to our lands, our bushes, and our forests. As a matter of fact, some of our kings take their names from the leopard. For example, the native name of the Oba of Benin is Ekmenoa, which means the home leopard. In the palaces of some of our kings, their thrones or their chairs, if you want to call it that, the arm of those thrones or chairs, there is a cast of the leopard on both sides of the chairs. Of our royal kings. Now let's talk about the elephant. Also in our bushes, Edo and Delta bushes, we are the largest custodians of the elephants. And that is why the original name of the biggest area in Benin City, which you call today Koba Hill, is not actually Koba Hill. It is actually called Oreogbeni. Ore means area or town, and Ogbeni means the settlement of elephant killers. In Urogo, for instance, we have a song that we sing a lot. We are elephants. That's the meaning of the song. Eni means elephant in Urobo. So, the elephant and the leopard has always been in our culture and tradition. And these two animals, they signify strength of our people, resilience of our people, the Edo and Delta. We are resilient people. In all the hardship of Nigeria, we are still there. In Uzaire Kingdom, in Esako, for instance, the king of that kingdom is called Ogienemi. And Ogienemi means the elephant king. Now, let's look at the eagle bird. The eagle is not in the northern Nigeria. Eagles, I mean the sea eagles, are much more prevalent in the marshes of Edo and Delta and a bit to Ondo marshes and in Ondo. They are not in Lagos because of the salty water of the lagoon in Lagos. Edo and Delta represent the equicenter of the equatorial rainforest where eagles fly. I mentioned the north. What will happen in the north are not eagles. They are actually called cattle egrets. They fly, they flock with the cattle, and they pick up lies and ticks off the skin of the cattle. Eagles thrive where there are fishes and small animals like chickens. Eagles, kite, and hawks are prevalent in our area of Edo and Delta. You may have seen eagles swoop either in Ugeli or Ilulugo down to capture their chicken, wholesome. They carry the whole chicken and fly away. The eagle, like the leopard and the elephant, are symbols of strength. They are symbolic with the people of Edo and Delta, the Midwestern, the Bendelite. Strength. Now let's look at the royal Ada and the royal Eden or the royal sword. These are all in our tradition and culture. And the royal Ada and the royal Ebe, they signify authority in our kingdoms. In Urobo, you may know what they call Agada, Ada. It is like a cutlass, it's a sword, Ada. From the kingdoms of Edo North all the way down to the kingdoms in Delta South, we have the royal Ada and the royal Ebe in our cultures and tradition. All the kings say from these areas, Edo North, all the way down to the Edo South, have this royal Ada and the royal Ebe in their banners. Take for instance, the Oreje of Okwe. He has the royal Ada and the royal Ebe in his banner in his palace. The Okuru the Ofolomu has the royal Ada and the royal Ebe in his banner in his palace. The Obi of Ugeli, the Olu of Wori, the Obi of Agbo, just to mention a few, they all have the royal Ada and the royal Ebe in their palace, in their banners, in their palaces. So this is our tradition. This is us. This is who we are. The final element is the wreath and the shield. And without drilling too deep, the shield is something that protects a person or a thing from harm or 
damage. We, the Edo Delta people, the Midwesterners, the Bendelite, we must be protected. So the shield represents protection of the Midwesterners. Now, we chose this design from a number of designs submitted to us by designers. And from the Lord, we came up with this for the coat of arms and the flag of the Midwest. Let's talk about the flag of the Midwest. The flag of the Midwest is made from a combination of the flag of Edo and the flag of Delta. The Edo flag has the head of the Iyoba, that is the Queen's mother, Idia, on a background of red and white. While the Delta flag has um, oil and rigs on a background of blue and white. In creating the Midwest flag, we chose to combine the red of the Edo flag and the blue of the Delta flag. And in the middle, we made it spherical. And then we inserted the coat of arms in the center of the sphere and surrounded the coat of arms by 12 stars. These 12 stars represent each of the 12 tribes of the Midwest people. So, in alphabetical order, these are the 12 tribes. These are the 12 stars of the Midwest people. The Akoko Edos, the Edos, the Esans, the Esakos, the Ijos, the Ikas, the Isokos, the Ishekiris, the Ukwanis, the Unwanis, the Onwans, and the Robos. These are the 12 stars of the 12 tribes of the people of the Midwest. This explanation has become necessary as people are being banded together by different ideology that anything can happen in Nigeria. And as push is gradually becoming shove, we have to say emphatically here today and now that we are the indigenous people of the Midwest. We are not Oduduas and we are not the Biafrans. We are the people of Midwest. And by the way, no one is going to tell you this. Midwest region out of the all four regions of Nigeria was the only region that was created by a referendum. And by that referendum, we can walk out of Nigeria, just like Brexit in the United in the EU. The UK, out of a referendum, joined the EU. And by another referendum, they walked out of the EU. So if we, the people of Midwest, can agree with ourselves that we want to walk out of Nigeria, we can do that by a referendum. We cannot be blushed together with other regions or other nations as is being uh, passed by the Oduduas and the Biafrans. We are the people of the Midwest. We are the Bendel people. We hope this explains some of your queries about the Midwest people and the coat of arms and our flag. Thank you very much for watching and please kindly share this video to all Midwesterners wherever they are in the diaspora all across the length and breadth of Nigeria, wherever they are, they must see this and they must be heard. God bless you.